Welcome to my channel, Life in the Nail Lane. So glad you could come back. Today we're talking about having a baby on a budget. When I found out I was pregnant, the first thing that came to mind was how am I going to pay for a child? I, you know, make enough just to really take care of myself. And I was just like, I don't know, like how am I going to be able to get all the things that she will need? Um, you know, really, really stressing out about it. Um, so today's video is going to show some of the things that you can do to reduce costs when you are um, buying things for your new little one. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is discount stores. Now, I don't know about um, you guys, but um, here in Atlanta, we have a store called Bargain Hunt and I love that store. They get different um, items from like Target and other stores um, and they mark them down for a discounted price. Um, and pretty much basically what happens is that like every 10 days um, it will go, it'll uh, be discounted some more. So you can potentially get things for up to 90% off. Um, so we got a lot of boxes, like the big, large boxes of diapers. We got a lot of those. Um, so we were able to rack up on diapers, and so we kind of stockpiling diapers. Um, and so we're able to get clothes. Um, I remember getting like onesies for her for like 10 cents, some um, pants for 20 cents. Um, you just have to kind of look through stuff. Um, you do kind of have to, if it's there, you have kind of have to get it when you see it because 9 out of 10, it probably will not be there when you come back. Um, we also got her bouncer from there. Uh, I don't exactly remember how much the bouncer was originally, um, but we ended up only paying about like $40 for it. I also got one of the um, um, Lechco loungers for her from there. Um, and it was a really, it's really great. She loves it. It's really awesome. I can put it on the bed, let her sleep in it, and I don't really have to worry about her um, rolling over or, you know, her face getting caught in anything. Um, and I, I want to say it was about like $30, $35. Um, so you can find a lot of great things in there um, on sale. Um, <clears throat> so that's a really great place. As far as I know, they are located kind of like in the southeastern area and I believe the Midwest area. Um, but you can go on their website actually, bargainhunt.com, and you can see all the different um, locations where they are located at. That's my first great place for um, getting things on a budget and discounted. Second thing is couponing. Um, before I found out I was pregnant, I would coupon a lot. And then I kind of slacked off because um, it does take a lot of effort um, and I just kind of slacked off but once I found out I was pregnant again and now that she's here we're trying to get back into couponing because you can find a, get a lot of things for um, really cheap uh, if you learn how to do it correctly um, diapers lotions uh, wipes um, even household food items you can reduce cost on even too so that you can save in other ways. Um, next thing as far as baby on a budget and saving money is a website called BrickSeek. Just like it says, it's B-R-I-C-K-S-E-E-K. -E -E BrickSeek. I originally found out about BrickSeek on Instagram. Um, I believe it was a, I was following um, Target Deals or Target Finder or something like that. Um, and they posted about this um, website called BrickSeek. And basically what BrickSeek does is they have, um, you can look on there if you know the different codes for items, you can look on their website and see like which store as far as Target and Walmart have that item on sale. Um, so I was actually able to get her crib. Um, it's a four-in-one convertible crib for $87. 
and I was also able to get this lounge, this chair that I'm in right now. I was able this rocker um, was also eighty-seven dollars um, at Target. So basically, what you do, um, if you look at their Instagram, I, I follow them on Instagram, so I'm able to see regularly like the new things that um, they're coming across that are on sale in different places. And then you can go onto their website, type in the items um, code number and your your zip code. You can see if that item is on sale in any of the stores near you. So basically what I did is I just called the store, asked them if they had the item to look it up, I gave them the code, they would look it up. Um, as far as the crib, they that store actually did um, hold the crib for me, they held it for 24 hours and I just went and picked it up. As far as this, the rocker, when I called that store, they said that they couldn't hold it because it was on sale, but I just went right ahead and I went to the store and picked it up. Um, with both of those items we had to put them in our car uh, okay guys so my camera decided that it wanted to stop recording so i had to and i did not know so now i have to re-record um the ending but basically what i was saying was that we had to pack um the crib and the the rocker in the car um we just had to find ways to make it work because uh, we didn't have a truck um, the crib we had to put on top of the car and then the lounger we had to take all of the pieces out the box and put them inside the car um, individually but hey we made it work for $87 uh, you can't beat that the crib like I said is a uh, four-in-one convertible crib and then this is a rocker that it um, turns all the way around swirl a swirl rocker um, both of them were like originally like three hundred dollars so for eighty seven dollars I cannot complain so I really like Brixie um, I would follow them on their Instagram account so that you can see um, the daily postings of things that are on sale and then that way you can just go over to their website and type in the code for the item and your um, what did they need they need your zip code um, type that in and then you can see if there's anything available in your area next thing as far as saving money is DIY Pinterest hacks so I love Pinterest um, I'm always on there looking for recipes um, you know how to things um, beauty stuff I'm always on Pinterest um, but I was able to find a couple different hacks as far as like um, the diaper genie we have a diaper genie and most people know that the refills you know are kind of expensive um, but when I was on there I was able to see how you can use a regular trash bag instead of buying the refills for the diaper genie so that saves money um, and also there was a hack on how to store breast milk by using a 12 pack um, soda can carton um, as well so there's different hacks that you can find on Pinterest in order to save money um, and you can just create an account most people have Pinterest accounts um, but you can learn a lot if you know just by typing in how to something and you can figure out something um, next thing is your thrift stores um, I love thrifting it uh, gives me a rush because um, I love to save money but uh, I went into Goodwill and I was able to find a bobby pillow, um, which those are running like $40. I was able to find a brand new one for five bucks. I could not believe it when I saw it because it was sitting on the bottom um, of the pillow rack. And I never actually go over to that rack ever. But I just happened to, you know, be pushing my little cart along. Um, and I saw it and I was like, that's a bobby pillow got so excited um, and it was only five bucks and then I was able to get some brand new blankets for her as well for like two dollars so those things are really on nice. you can find really good deals um, when you go to thrift stores um, you can also find like at your local um, thrift stores we have one here in our area um, that has like you know we can go get onesies and um, pants for like 99 cents um, we're also able to get you know pretty much bright brand new outfits as well for you know maybe like three dollars 
Um, and you know, most of the time, kids, when they're that little, they don't really wear things that often. They may be once or twice. So you're really able to get some brand new pieces. Um, and some things are actually brand new and still have price tags on them. So these were just a couple of the things that we did in order to save money. Um, we're still learning as far as trying, you know, things that to save money when it comes to having a newborn. Um, but these were just some of the things that we did. Uh, thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, please like, click the like button and subscribe to my channel. More videos to come will be coming about motherhood and the adjustment and um, all the different things that, you know, change in life when you're um, becoming a parent. So, thank you so much. Bye. I think she had to be turning. And when I went to the doctor, he was like, yeah, he's like, she's head down. And I was like, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. Because I felt it. I felt it. I'm so serious. It was a different pain.